what I'm going to look at is manipulating or handling text in Excel. The first thing to do is to put my cursor down to here. So I'm going to look at left, right, find, len and mid. Whatever that means. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the function section and pick up text. All of these that you can see are functions inside text. The first one I'm going to look at is left. Here it is. Returns a specified number of characters from the start of the text string. OK, I OK that and up comes this. So what is the text? Well, the text is that there, A6, which equals Russell Sprouts. The number of characters, I'm going to look for five characters, which produces the answer there. If I'd chosen seven characters, it would have produced his whole name. But, as I say, five was what we went for. Now, I'm going to do this process again, so all I need to do in this one is just drag that down like that. And you can see the result. Now, if I come up to here and just double click there, that will move it along so that the whole of this far left five characters is shown within this area here. OK, let's do it again. And this time, look at right. Function, text, click onto there and press R. It takes me down to the R's in there and you can see right returns a specified number of characters from the end of a text string. OK, so there it is. Let's move that down. And again, the text string is this one. And we're going to look at five characters from the other end. And of course, one, two, three, four, five is routes. And if I drag that down, there you are. It doesn't really make much sense, any of this, well, it, unless you look at Blige or Gray. Oh, actually, Betts. So we've got Blige, Gray and Betts. OK, this one enables you to find a space. Let's see what we're, we're trying to do. We'll come up to here, come down to the function find, returns the starting position of one text string within another text string. Find is case sensitive. OK. So what are we doing now? find, what are we finding? Well, we're trying to find that within that. If I click down here, start none specifies the character which the start of the search. The first character in in within text is the character number one. If omitted, start equals number one. OK, so I've got there. Now the reason I'm going through all of this is that the other day I had a list of names like this and what I was trying to write down was just the surname, the family name. I knew there must have been a way to do it, but I didn't know how. We're going to get to that. All right, we found a space. You know that I can just drag this down and it shows you exactly where the space is in each one of these. OK, so now we're looking at len. This is talking about the length of the string. This is the string and it's how many letters in that string. So let's go again up to the function section. We're coming down there and typing L, 
because we're looking for len, and there it is, returns the number of characters in a string, in a text string, all right? Let's drag that down. There's the text string, all right? And we can see the answer there. It says there are 15 characters there. Okay, we can drag that down. And it's counted up the number of characters in each one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So even on a gray, it counts each one, including the four stop, as a character. Now the final one I'm looking at is mid. Now what is mid going to do? Well, let's have a look. Function, click down there, type M, there's mid. Returns the characters from the middle of the text string, giving a starting position and length. OK. What's the text? Well, the text is here, A6. What's the starting number? Well, the t starting number is there. So we found we found the space, the space up to there. Now we're moving down to here. And we're writing in len bracket a6 close bracket. So if you see what I've done, I've said what is the length? Where's the space in there? Take that from there, i.e. take that out and we must come to that. So this way, I'm able to pick out my family name from all of the rest. And since there was my basic name, that's what I've managed to do. There are handling examples of text in Excel. Thank you.